I don't think it's just a space. Like, I don't think this is just a fad, like, hey, let's build some stuff. I really think it's going to help shift mindset and create future creative out of the box thinkers and leaders. You know, part of what we do here at Lab is help kids love learning yes. and see the longevity of what your love of learning can do. I'm Charlie Abelman, I'm the director of the laboratory schools at the University of Chicago. And it's a Saturday morning and we have a bunch of volunteers, teachers and parents, as well as students, beginning to build out two of our spaces to make making spaces for the middle and upper school. So we've actually designed the spaces ourselves. We've tried to conceptualize what we want to do in the spaces. And today we're sort of cutting the wood down that actually will ultimately be the different workbenches, workspaces, that students will be able to use with their classes as they make things. You're the lead. You gotta move the clamps ahead of him. Okay. Bitspace is uh, helping lab school to design, build, outfit, train the teachers and students uh, for our new maker lab. Uh, two rooms uh, with, for this particular project. Uh, a dirty room with a full dust collection system and traditional woodworking tools. And then a clean room with electronics and sewing and paperwork and laser cutting. We're gonna produce 64 of these triplets in order to produce 32 uh, freestanding uh, modules, workstation modules. We came together to prioritize what, as a school, we felt we wanted to do with this new space. Bitspace brought us together as a uh, maker community to design the spaces, and that entailed putting on a list everything that we wanted to have, from woodworking to 3D printing to laser etching and, and cutting. <laughs> John Dewey, the founder of our school, he envisioned a more hands-on, experimental approach to, to learning. It's not enough to understand something in theory, but it's also crucial to be able to practice it in reality. It's a great place for them to start writing down things that they observe, it's a great place for them to take something that they're doing here in class and taking it one step further. And it's really not about the lesson, it's about the process. It's never about the endpoint. So they're gonna find, especially in the realm of science, there isn't a right answer. Sure, there's facts about science that we learn all the time. That can be learned in a textbook. It's not anything that needs a space for creativity or a space to ask questions. A lot of it is going to be about if they ask this question and they start designing this lab, what pieces need to come into play? If they're surprised by something they observed, what else can they ask about it? And I think that this is going to be a great place for kids who are interested in taking inquiry one step further to giving them that chance. The makerspace that we're building here at Lab is going to have some of the cutting edge devices. It's going to really give the kids an opportunity to conceptualize, design, and iterate um, some of their ideas, come up with new ideas, great opportunities to collaborate and cooperate. It's not simply just creating a project on a table at your desk, but it's an opportunity to create a project that's going to be on display or actually going to be functioning inside the school. The day it's ready, I want them to see potential. I want them to look in that space and, and have parts of their interest and excitement and brain turn on that hasn't been turned on before. Yeah. That would be the ideal thing on day one, right? Just that something can happen. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Give the man a pat on the back. Look how much dust we got. You're a little dusty. <laughs> Lovely. 